see. We have. Let's go with Witzilin. I'm just going to go by whoever is on here. Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Witzilin. Uh, I live in Tucson, Arizona, which is Basquayaki and Duana Autumn. Um, I'm originally from Tongva territory, town of Awingna, La Puente. Um, I am a PhD student in teaching, learning, and sociocultural studies at the University of Arizona. I also teach chemistry at Tucson Magnet High School starting next year. And I am learning Nahuatl because my students deserve to hear the language of their ancestors. Uh, and then we have, let's see, um, we have Nancy, Nancy Herrera. If you'd like to introduce yourself. I mute myself. Yeah. Um, my name is Nancy Herrera. I currently live in Madison, Wisconsin. Um, but this is just for my PhD program. I'm getting my um, PhD in counseling psychology, uh, striving to be a bilingual therapist, but I'm hoping to just continue to um, connect more with my ancestry, um, especially my indigenous an ancestry, which is why I'm, I'm wanting to learn Nahuatl and just start off here. So, nice to meet you all. Victor, let's go, Mati. And then we have uh, let's see, Juan, Juan Eddy, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, Lee. Um, my name is Juan Eric. Uh, I live in Lenapa, Oking, which is also um, New York City. And uh, I am a mental health counselor. And um, I also uh, teach mental health counseling graduate students. And I'm interested in uh, learning now because my family is from the Veracruz area. Let's come at you, Juan. Let's come at you. And then we have, uh, what about Babette? Oh, hello. <laughs> Yelly. Uh, Yelly. Uh, so, sorry, I was having Mercury retrograde issues, got my technology working. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> That's what happened right now. Um, so, so, just, uh, go ahead. Oh, go, so we're just introducing ourselves? Yeah, like your name, where you're from, um, what type of work do you do? Okay. Uh, any passions you have? Okay. Um, so, Babette Craft, uh, I'm originally from Texas. Um, the work I do, I'm actually an instructional designer. Uh, most people don't know what that is. So, <laughs> I basically uh, design learning experiences, uh, learning environments online. So, a lot of my work is digital. Really? You can yeah. totally help me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, anytime, really. It's, that's part of my passion is I, I, I love wor working with technology and I love education. So um, my background, I, I lived in East Asia for a while as an ESL instructor. And then I came back to the U.S. I, I went to New Mexico, studied in New Mexico for my degree. And then I moved here to Arizona. So the Southwest seems to be my home, keeps calling me. So <laughs> that's where I am right now. Uh, and the reason I'm here is uh, so I, I'm Mexican-American and um, trying to get in touch with more of my indigenous roots. Uh, my family have a long line of curanderismo. And so I'm it's just a way back into my ancestors, I think. Quality, quality. And then what Chile is asking you, what part of Arizona? Uh, you... Right now I'm in Phoenix. Oh, okay. Quality, And then let's see. Tlaskamati, a bit. And then we have uh, Brisa. Brisa Galarza. Hi, can you hear me? Kenna. Kenna. Piali, my name is Brisa, and I'm also Mexican American, and I am a chef. Well, I was a chef before <laughs> Corona, uh -huh. um, and I'm also really interested in in learning this to connect to my indigenous roots as well. Tlaskamati, Tlaskamati, Brisa, and then we have Adrian. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, Piali, Notoka Adrian, 
Um, my family is originally from uh, Yuacaro, Michoacan, and they migrated north to Mexicali. And then years ago, I ended up in Pasadena. So I grew up there, came out to Long Beach to study uh, sports management at Long Beach State, and pretty much stayed here ever since. So currently I work in uh, sports, over ever since how the sports industry is right now, um, I'm pretty much furloughed. So this gives me a great chance to learn Nahuatl. And one of the biggest reasons um, is because me and my wife are having a kid. So then we were like, oh, we need to make sure we pass on um, our language of our ancestors. Cuartito, can, uh, that's, that's one way to keep a language alive, to also teach children. So we, we also, all, I also attempt to teach, you know, across all generations. So that's one way, Cuartito. Yeah. yeah, my family is originally from Jalisco, but we ended up in Mexicali. And uh, I also ended up in Pasadena. Ah, <laughs> so, uh, Mexicali is like 106 degrees right now. Oh, yeah, it's a desert. It's yeah, hot. Sure, for sure. Okay, and then Travis, would you like to introduce yourself? Piali, Mina Toka Travis. I'm from Colorado. I am a welding instructor. Um, my I'm a Nahuatl in heritage, so I'm trying to learn and um, understand my ancestry by understanding Nahuatl. Travis, And then we have Russell. Oh, just uh, go ahead and uh, unmute yourself, please. Just click on the on the the button, the mute uh, the microphone. So if you hover over in the middle of the screen, the lower screen. Oh, it seems like me. I think I heard you for a little bit. <laughs> Okay, we still we still can't hear you. Hmm. Okay. So so maybe you can just type it in because we're not able to hear. Just come at. And then we have let's see. Adriana. Adriana, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Piyali, um, um, I'm Adriana. I'm originally from San Diego, but uh, I live in the Bay Area, um, in California, and I am a mental health health in general peer educator. Um, so until school starts, I'll, I'll have a job. Um, so right now I'm taking some time to also engage in my um, roots. Uh, my family's from Mexico. And then we have uh, Kenya. Kenya Diaz. Hi, guys. My name is Kenya, and uh, I live in Texas. And I, uh, right now, uh, I, s I am studying art, mainly painting and a bit of jewelry. And uh, I am taking this class because, um, well, my parents are from Mexico, and I've always had, I always wanted to, like, I'm looking into more art history and looking at this language and how it relates to that. And I'm just, I feel really inspired to take this class. So I'm really happy to be here. So, nice to meet you all. Mm. So, yeah, you can also um, go in the room. Tlaskamati, Kenya, for introducing yourself. Um, you, there's also reactions too in the, in the right hand corner. Um, you can click on the heart and you can do like a thumbs up. You can do, you can laugh, you can smile, you can be surprised. You can be sad <laughs> or you can throw a heart too. Um, and then we have uh, Tanya. Tanya, also correct me if I'm mispronouncing your name. <laughs> So, Tania Villalobos, if you'd like to introduce yourself. <clears throat> oh, that's fine. <laughs> People, my, my family pronounces it like that. Oh, okay, Kuali. 
um, I'm I'm originally from Baldwin Park, uh, but I, I I live in New York, but I'm in the Mojave Desert right now with my family, um, for quarantine, um, and I wanted to learn now because my my Theo speaks it, um, and yeah, I just wanted to learn. I, my my Theo's been trying to teach me for a while, but I thought it had more communication. Uh, uh. Yeah, you, you have a fellow New York resident, Risa. Hi. Okay. <laughs> and I think Russell introduced himself to Tlaskamati. Kanya for introducing yourself. And then Russell sent his address. I am Russell. I live in, Dur in Durham, North Carolina. I work in sales. I just thought it would be interested to learn a language that is not European origin. Kualitok. Kuali, Kuali, Russell. I appreciate that. Uh, and then we have Karina. Karina, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hi, um, I'm Karina, and I currently leave, live in San Diego, California. I'm a new PhD student at the University of Idaho, where I study tarantula phylogenetics. Um, I want to learn Nahuatl so I can communicate with my grandparents and keep the language in our family. Kuali, kuali. Tlaskamati, Tlaskamati, Karina. I appreciate that going back to your roots. And then we have uh, Nayeli. If you'd like to introduce yourself. Um, um hello. Can you hear me? Can I? <clears throat> uh, I'm Nayeli, and I'm, I am worked as a social worker for 11 years, and currently I'm a stay-at-home mom. And one of the reasons I want to uh, learn Nawa is um, to pass that on to my daughter and um, also uh, keep it in, in the family. So thank you. Awesome. Let's go, Martin, Nayeli. And then we have Leroy. Yeah, Lee. Uh, and Erica, Erica. Leroy. And, <laughs> and uh, uh, originally I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico uh, in uh, Tiwa territory. Uh, I lived in Denver for the longest time. Actually know Travis and his relatives. Um, and I'm back in Albuquerque in uh, HD at the University of New Mexico in language literacy and sociocultural studies. And just, I'm interested in uh, learning Nahuatl uh, mainly because there's a whole a lot of people in our community and our family members that, that speak it. And uh, I feel it's important for us to maintain our language so we can maintain our identity and other decolonize. And then also I want to teach my children so that they also are rooted uh, in their culture in that way. Um, I'm Erica Fabia Saez. I'm originally from Denver, Colorado. Hey, Travis. Um, and uh, let's see, we're living in Albuquerque. Um, currently, I am working from home. I am a liaison for the Pueblo of Santa Ana. And um, geez, something about me, passions. Um, I really like cross stitch. Um, and the reason I'm learning Nahuatl is like Leroy said, to keep it in our family, to keep it going, to teach our children, to um, maintain not just our ceremonial traditions, but also our language, um, to get deeper uh, grounded. And Sorry, I'm not, I think you didn't hear me. Uh, so for next, uh, Fernanda, if you'd like to introduce yourself, also don't forget to unmute yourself. Biali Nanatoka Fernanda. Um, I was born and raised in Mexico City and moved to the Minneapolis-St. Paul area in Minnesota about 10 years ago. I work for a sustainable land care nonprofit. We do a lot of work with uh, restoring pollinator habitat in underserved communities around the state. 
Wow. And I've always felt very passionate about language acquisition. Like I started learning English when I was really little. And pretty early on in my life, I was um, I was interested in, you know, pre-Hispanic history and the history of our country. And I knew at age like five that I wanted to play a role in making sure that our languages, our indigenous languages, um, don't go extinct. So that's that's why I'm doing it. Just come up to Fernanda. Amazing. And we have see. Uh... What else do we have here? Uh, Daniel? Daniel Mijangos? Hello? <clears throat> Piali. Piali, can you hear me? Can I? Si. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Daniel uh, Mijangos. I live in the Bay Area. Uh, you all have such noble and and, and great reasons for learning Nahuatl because mine is a little more selfish. I, I never learned Spanish growing up. My family is actually uh, originated from Guatemala. Um, and I've kind of felt a disconnect for a lot of my life, kind of alienated. And this is kind of a way for me to be like more, to feel closer to my indigenous heritage. At first it's going to be Nahuatl and then possibly Quiche. And uh, yeah. Uh, I hope to integrate it someday in my writing. I'm passionate about writing. And uh, that's me. Okay. That's Daniel. That's something Hi. that, um, like with, with, you know, language is identity. So if you're disconnected from your ancestors' languages, um, it's not that uh, it's, it's, it's a good thing to go back to your roots and learn it, you know? So, yeah, Kiche, I believe Kiche is the most widely spoken uh, Mayan language, I believe, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. Don't call me on it, but I think uh, it's yeah. one, uh, I think it's like two million speakers or over two million speakers. Yes, yeah. So. There's, a, there's a large um, population in Guatemala that still speaks Quiche, but um, I, I, this is the first class that I found, so <laughs> I, I, I decided to start with Nahuatl and <laughs> branch off from there. Quali, quali. If I will be on the lookout for any Kiche classes for you. I'd, I'd appreciate that. And then, let's see. Uh, and then Jesus. Also, let me know if you want to be called a different name, too. So. All right, great. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Jesus Solis. Uh, I'm originally from Denver, Colorado. Um, right now, I'm a uh, PhD candidate in history at Harvard University. Um, I'm learning Nahuatl for a, a variety of reasons. Um, one of the reasons is that um, I'd like to do a future research project with uh, using uh, sources that were written in classical Nahuatl. Um, and also, I just think as uh, I'm also Mexican-American, so I do think that learning the language of my ancestors is also important. And so I'm very excited uh, to be here and looking forward to uh, learning uh, this language with all of you. It's also, you know, getting to know each other, building community. So if you all want to connect with each other, you're more than welcome to talk in the chat too, you know? So it's amazing. Let's come back to here, Sus. And then I think that may be it. We said Oh, Jasmine? Jasmine, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Piali, everyone. My name is Jasmine and I'm Mexican-American. I'm actually from a border town, Colorado, Texas. So uh, a part of me has always felt very connected to indigenous cultures. And as I started progressing in my uh, studies at the university level, I decided to become an ethno historian. So I'm going to start my thesis hopefully in the fall. And then from there, I want to branch off and make sure that I can use as much as of Nahuatl in my, in my, in my thesis. And I actually want to continue learning Nahuatl as much as I can because I believe in the beauty of the language. And recently I was able to go to Mexico City and, you know, go to Templo Mayor and feel more connected to Nahuatl. So I was like, this is my calling and I really want to help in the decolonization process. Well, detox, well, detox. That's, that's amazing, Jasmine. That's actually one of the reasons why I started going back to my roots when I went to Mexico City. I just fell in love with you know, it's all around, like, you, there's no way you can, you can say that, you know, it's all just Spanish and Catholic. It's, there's, you know, 
Um, all the pyramids are still there. Uh, street names, you know, Quiclawak is my real name. So for people to just say it without having difficulty to pronounce it, without making fun of it, it was just, it was just like, you know, it's, it, I felt it in my heart. So, I'm sorry, um, Jasmine. Uh, and then we have a family. Libby, do we have Libby here? Piali, uh, my name is Libby. I'm a recent college grad um, in 2020, and uh, I'm in Texas right now. Um, so shout out to you, Kenya. <laughs> and I uh, but went to school in New York, and I'm originally from Oregon. Um, but I'm in this class because my uh, one of my real great friends, May, is also in the class, and uh, she pointed me to it. And um, we were in Spanish together, uh, and I also studied sustainable development at school. But, uh, you know, I wanted to learn um, the language that was – of the lands I was studying, but not just of the colonizer. And, uh, you know, I'm a white person and it's my responsibility to contribute to the decolonization process and share that with my family and friends and colleagues. So I'm excited to be here and to, yeah, build community. Tlaskamati, Libby. Tlaskamati, I appreciate that. Uh, and I think that's all. I do see someone with the name is just dot c i'm not sure who that is um you, if you can uh, meet yourself and um maybe say your name and introduce yourself Let's see. Bien. okay so I'm not sure. Okay, I believe everybody, if we're not able to hear them, I believe everybody was able to introduce yourselves. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and continue with the class. I also like to set a time, you know, to introduce ourselves. So last class, we ended up with, um, oh, I think I, that I'm not sure who you are. I'm sorry, but your name is just live C I D eight five. I'm not sure how to address you, um, but you enter your name as dot C. Um, um. Okay, so I'm not I'm not really sure how can I can address you, um, but uh, let's see if I can. Okay, so wh whoever hasn't introduced yourselves, go ahead and do it now, please. Hi, my name is Laura. There you go, Laura. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, I just um, didn't know how to uh, yeah, address. <laughs> I, joined, I joined a little late, sorry. Okay, it's okay. Uh -huh. um, my name is Laura. I'm a registered dietitian, nutritionist. Um, I got interested in Nahuatl. I'm also of Mexican descent. Um, and I got, I got interested in decolonizing your diet. And I'm also an Aztec dancer, so... Um, there's many reasons to learn um, and also to feel connected to, you know, my ancestry. And my grandpa was from Mexico City, so I definitely have some Aztec blood. Quite talk, quite talk. Yeah. Nice to meet you all. Great. That's amazing. So let's go ahead and start with the class. Let me just go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so can you all see uh, see my screen? Just go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Okay, one. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and start with uh, what we ended up with last time, which were pronouns. So pronouns, let me just go ahead and open the screen. So pronouns, na, right? So I just, I just encourage you to go ahead and um, uh, repeat after me, right? And also with the gestures, right? na, ta, ya, na, ta, ya, sampa again, na, ta, ya, okay? So na is me. Ta is you, and ya is him or her. Okay, so I'll also be I'll also be checking um, my phone too for anything. Uh, okay, Fernanda also said um, in regards to pronouns. So, can I so um, I did I did forget to address that, but yeah, my, my my pronouns are they, they them or him, his. Um, so thank you for reminding that. I'm um, re reminding me of that, Fernando. I'll take that in consideration for next classes. Okay, so na ta ya. So like I mentioned with last class, ya is him or her. So there is no him or her. Ya is the third person. Then we have to Juan Ting. To Juan Ting. Okay. To Juan Ting. To, and just think of this right here, the double H um, as the person name, the personal name Juan. So to Juan Ting. Us. To Juan Ting. Okay, so Samba. Na, ta, ya. The Juan thing. And then this one is um, this mean this is the equivalent of ustedes in Spanish. Ustedes in Mo Juan thing. Again, this is like the personal name Juan. In Mo Juan thing. You are ustedes in Mo Juan thing. Okay, so sampa. Okay, again with the with the gestures. Okay, so I suggest that you also mimic what I'm doing. Do it's uh, you do copycat. Okay, now na ta ya to Juan Tin in mo Juan Tin and the last one is. Ini Juan Ting, Ini Juan Ting, Ini Juan Ting, them, ellos. Okay, so Sampa. Na, ta, ya, to Juan Ting, in mo Juan Ting. Any hunting, any hunting. Okay, so I suggest that uh, you do, you say these pronouns uh, out loud and with the gestures as well, if possible, with people around you as well. Or you can just reference this PDF and just say them out loud over and over. Uh, it's important to know them because they're also you know they, um, they're also part of sentences. Um, and also in writing as well. And, okay. Next, let's do some greetings and introducing yourself. So, Piyali, you've heard me say Piyali via email and during class. So, Piyali is hello or bye too. Okay. Piyali is hello or bye. And the next greeting um, is, um, this is a hand greeting, so this is how you do, this is a ni mitz la palos. So in person, it's a hand greeting, so you 
um, you you don't shake the person's hand. It's um, you just do this. So it's kind of hard to to do it with just myself. So um, it's basically you're like you're about to shake their hand, but you just touch their hand and you just pull out. Now, it's important to know that even with greetings, every town is different. Um, every town is a different way uh, of greeting. There's other towns where you actually do shake the person's hand, but in Chicontepec, it's just this. It's not, you just touch and you pull away. It's not sliding, but touch and you pull away, okay? So this literally means, I greet you. I greet you. Okay, so let's, let, I, I also suggest that you say this aloud, okay? So we're going to do syllable per syllable. Ni, meets tla, pa, los. Ni, meets tla, pa, los. Ni, meets tla, pa, los. Okay? Whenever you see an H inside of the word, it has a voice, okay? Aspiration. So whenever you hear me say aspiration, it means that the H has a voice, okay? So, ni meets la palos. Ni meets la palos. So, beginning of the class, you can greet me like that. Piali ni meets la palos. Ni meets la palos. Okay. And I heard a couple of you saying this. Na no toca, right? Here is the pronoun. So it's important to know. Right? Na no toca. My name is. Okay. So it's important to know there is no word is in Nahuatl. It's just implied. So na no toca cuiclawak. Okay. So I suggest that you say it a lot as well. Uh, na no toca, and then your name, okay? Na no toca cuitlawak. Na no toca cuitlawak. Okay, so that means my name is. Now to ask, what's your name? Tlen. Tlen means what? Tlen. Tlen motoka. Tlen motoka. Tlen motoka. Tlen motoka. Okay, so I'm just going to select people at random and we can go ahead and practice this, okay? Um, so I'm just going to leave the, uh, how, the writing here. So let's see, let's, let's do it with Brisa, okay? Brisa, so Biali, Nimis Palos. Na no toca qui tlen motoca. Na no toca brisa. Quali, quali. Okay, so let's try with. I have a question. Can I? Uh -huh. Um, so at the end of a question, does your voice go up like in English or no? At the end of a question. So, like, in what's your name? Um, the stress would be in to motoka. Tlen motoka. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Ashlen. And then let's try with witzilin. Piali nimis la falos nanotoka qui tlen motoka. Nanotoka witzilin tlen motoka. Nanotoka qui tlaskamati. Okay, so let's try it. Let's see. Let's do Jasmine. Okay. Piali, ni mis las palos, nano toca qui, tlen motoca. Piali, nano toca Jasmine, tlen motoca. Nano toca qui, cual titok. Cual is, so you're, you're using the questions so of las comati. Okay, so let's see. Let's do some interaction between students. Let's see. Uh, Adrian and Livy. So go ahead, Adrian, you start the conversation. Can I? So Piali, ni mis las palos. Piali, ni mis las palos. No toca Adrian, len motoca. 
Kigali limits Galapagos at Nano Toka Libby. Then Motoka? Motoka Adrian or Adrian, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then let's see. Let's do Travis and Laura. So, Travis, you start the conversation. Kiali, Nanotoka, Travis. Then Motoka? Kiali, Nanotoka, Laura. Then Motoka? Nanotoka, Travis. Quartito, quartito. Okay. Let's see, and then let's do. Um, let's, see. let's do Daniel and Jasmine. Piali, Nimit Lapalo, Nano Toka Daniel, Glenn Motoka. And uh, Jasmine, just make sure that you unmute yourself as well. Sorry about that. I just realized that. Okay. Piali, Nimitzlapalos, Nano Toca Jasmine, Tren Motoca. Nano Toca Daniel. Quantitok, Quantitok. Let's do Russell and Adriana. Oh, I forgot that. I, I, we can't hear you, Russell. <laughs> so, okay. So let's do um, Adriana. One. Adriana. One. Let's see. Uh, Fernanda. Adriana and Fernanda. Pijali, Fernanda, Limisla, Palos, Nano Toca, Diana, Tlen Motoca. Pijali, Limisla, Palos, Nano Toca, Fernanda. Cualtito. <laughs> Quali, Cualtito. Quali, Quali. Nice. So you are using the dialogue. And now, um, let's see who else. Let's see. Uh, uh, Karina. Uh, well, and Nancy. Karina and Nancy. Piali Nimitzla Palos. Nano toca Karina. Tlen mutoka. Nano toca Nancy. Tlen mutoka. Nano toca Karina. Quali. Quali, quali. And then Jesus and let's see who else do we have here. Jesus and Babet. Uh, Piali, Nimitz Lapalos, Nano Toka, uh, Jesus, Tlen Motoka. Uh, Nano Toka, Babet, Tlen Motoka. Uh, Nano Toka, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Quali, quali. And I think I was mispronouncing your name. What's your name again? How do you say your name again? Oh, my, yeah, I, it doesn't bother me, whatever. Every, every like, Texas, they say it different. New Mexico, they say it different. <laughs> oh. It's, it's, it's wherever you put the uh, stress, you know, in your language, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Because uh, I, I say ba Babette. Yeah, so some people say Babette, Babette, Babette. You, it's that vowel. <laughs> it changes. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, no, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's Kamati. Okay, and then let's see. Brisa, da 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 Nimitz la palos, Nano toca Juan Eric, Len no toca. Piali, Nimitz la palos, Nano toca Kenia, Len no toca. Nano toca Juan Eric, Sampa. 
<laughs> sympa, כן, again, <laughs> כל תיתוק. כן, okay. and then... מיי אנד איילי. יאלי נימץ לפלוס, ננו תוקה מי, תלמו תוקה? יאלי נימץ לפלוס, ננו תוקה נאלי. נאלי. טניה? אוקיי, טניה, טניה אני מייסף, אני חושב שכל אחד היה כבר כבר. So, uh, Tania, uh, so Piyali, Ninisla Palos, Nano Toca, Cui, Tlen Motoca. Nano Toca, Tania, uh, Tlen Motoca. Nano Toca, Cui, Quantito. And then Russell, even though I can hear you, uh, Piyali, Ninisla Palos, Nano Toca, Cui, Tlen Motoca. Quali, quali. Okay. So um, another goal of our collective is to be able to speak the language, not just study it. Um, so it's good to practice to be able to speak the language. Okay. So in the slide that I gave you, um, the first, the very top, you have the slide with all the lessons. Basically, this is uh, everything that we will be studying. Okay. So let me just go ahead and expand it. If it lets me. Okay, this is not okay. I'm just gonna. Hmm. Okay. It's not letting me expand. <laughs> so let me just open it from here. So, in the first slide, we will have basic words that I encourage you to uh, learn. So, if you have pen and paper as well right now, I suggest you also write these down. Um, so, we have the first word, quali. Quali. This means good. Quali. And then, kualtitok. Very good. Kualtitok. Kualtitok. I heard one of you say this as well, so kuali. Kualtitok. Very good. And then, sampa. Again, sampa. I think I heard Juan say this one. Sampa, again. Sampa. Again. So this word, if I say sampa, I would like you, for you to repeat what you just said. Um, you can also do this with me as well. So if you say Sampa, I will be repeating what um, I just said or doing what I just did. Okay. And then Seyok. Next. Seyok. So in the a, in a normal classroom setting, we're in a circle, right? So Seyok. Next. Next student. Seyok. 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 So if you hear me say Seyok, you're next, Sayuk. And then, Kenna. 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 So some of the gestures that I'm doing are actually uh, from American Sign Language. Uh, but not all of them are. So just be aware of that. I know this, this one, Kenna, is no. Kenna. I'm sorry. Kenna is yes. Kenna is yes. This is a sign for yes. Kenna. And then, Ashkana, this is a sign for no. Ashkana, no. Amo, no. Ashkana, amo. Okay, Ashkana is from the Huasteca. Amo is across all variants. 
and Amo is considered a, a stronger no, um, but they're both understood as no. Shkana Amo. And then like we mentioned earlier, Piali, right? Piali, Nimis Lafalos, right? So this literally means I greet you. Nimis Lafalos. TikTok. And then we have Te i pa nok. 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 That means later. Después. Te i pa nok. So this word is when you're parting ways, when you're leaving. Te i pa nok. And as I go along, you're also more than welcome to ask any questions in the chat. I'm looking at my phone um, in the chat, so. Okay. De panok later. So this is when you're parting ways. Okay, and then tlaskamati. Thank you. Tlaskamati. Tlas ka ma. Sorry. Ma ti. Tlas. Ka ma ti tlaskamati. Yeah, it's it's a farewell. It's a later. Uh -huh. Um let me see if it's, if it's considered So, so teipan, teipan is later, right? But teipanok uh, makes it a, a, a makes it a, an adverb, I believe. So it's in the state of being, it's in the state of being later. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a farewell. I hope that, that answers your question, uh, May. Teipanok. And then Tlaskamati is thank you. Ashlen. Ashlen is like saying the nada in Spanish. So it's a response to thank you. Okay. The next the, uh, the next this uh this sentence is basically a sentence in, in English or Spanish. Um this means nos vemos, nos veremos, or in English it would be we will see each other. So it's also another phrase that you say when you're leaving somewhere. Okay, so this is how it's pronounced. Ti, moi, ta, se. Ti, moi, ta, se. Ti, moi, Ta se. Ti moita se. Ti moita se. Ti moita se. So at the end of the class, I encourage you to say this, right? Te ipanok or ti moita se. Either or. Ti moita se. I have a question about that. It might Can be I? kind of obscure. Um, but is that an instance of, so you said that it's similar to um, nos vemos in Spanish. Kena. Do we know if that's an instance of people in Mexico adopting that from Nahuatl and adapting it, which is like direct translation of Nahuatl to Spanish, and that's why it was popularized? Or would it be the other way around? Or is it just like too hard to tell? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, um, the direct translation is nos veremos. Nosotros nos veremos. So it's just uh, the direct translation. We will see each other. So to break it down, let's break it down. So um, also, Nahuatl is uh, an agglutinating language. But in regards to being popularized from Nahuatl or transferred into Nahuatl from Spanish or Spanish into Nahuatl, 
I don't think that's the case. Um, it's just a direct translation. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, quality. So if you want to break it down, uh, linguistically, T and the C, it means that we will be doing it in the future. Okay, so later on we'll get into future tense, but I'm just explaining it, breaking it down so it makes more sense, right? D and the C, we will be doing something in the future. Okay, the mo is reflexive to ourselves, and then ita is to see. So we will see each other, right? Future, we will see each other. Nos veremos. Nos veremos. So it's a direct translation um, um, into English and Spanish. Nos veremos, we will see each other. Okay, and then this one, we have five minutes left. Uh, let's finish it off. So this one is a little longer. One of my students asked, how do you say I'm sorry? So this is the, this is the closest. So this literally means borramela. Erase it for me. Borra. Borramela. Erase it for me. That's the direct translation, but it means I'm sorry. In Spanish, it would be like disculpame, perdóname. Okay, direct translation is borrame la eraser for me, but it means disculpame, perdóname, um, I'm sorry in English. Okay, so let's, I suggest that um, you repeat after me, okay? She, nech, tla, po, polwi. 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 I'm sorry. So do we put in the, mm -hmm. I forgot what you called it, but the, the H mm -hmm. after tla or after po? Oh, so there's no H here. Uh, there is an H after, like right here, tla. Mm -hmm. But the H is after the O, right? So po. Uh -huh. So it's the, the H has a voice here, po. Mm -hmm. Okay, because a couple times, when you said it, it was she nech tla popolwi. Oh, Ashkana, no. So she nech tla popolwi. Maybe because okay. I'm saying it fast. <laughs> she she nech tla popolwi. Mm -hmm. Okay, because for, for me the age falls with with the tla a little more naturally also. So I don't know. If, mm -hmm. Like, would that be a, a deal breaker kind of situation? Are we going to say something completely different by accident? Um, no, it's just maybe, uh, because the word is, the, the verb here is tla, tla, pohpolwia, tla, pohpolwia. It's like maybe you're adding an extra letter in English to, um, like erase it, maybe you're adding an aspiration, erase it, maybe that's, does that make sense? Um, but if you add an H here, they would uh, it, you would be um, it's understood. Can okay, no? So she nechla popolwi. She nechla popolwi. She oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> but yeah, there is no H here. Yeah. She nechla popolwi. She nechla popolwi. And then this one is like saying, excuse me, like when you're passing someone, maybe through a crowd. Um, this literally means like, I will pass you. 
I will pass you. But he's like saying, excuse me. And maybe you're going through a crowd and you want you don't want to be rude and like bump into anyone. Ni meets panos. Ni meets panos. Ni meets panos. Ni meets panos. I'm sorry, I have a question about the um is the stress is the stress at the class there? Um, so if you want to break it down, the stress um, is in the pole. The pole. The pole. Mm -hmm. okay. She neched la po polwi. So it wouldn't be bad form to practice it. She neched la po polwi just to practice the aspiration. Kenna, kenna, kenna. Uh huh. The stress is in the pole. Uh huh. Ashland. Yeah, you you are making me think now. Now I I do hear myself saying tla here. <laughs> so she nets la pochpolwi. Yeah, there is no H here. She nets la pochpolwi. Can I she nets la pochpolwi? And then ni meets pa nos. The stress will be in the pa. Okay, and then we're on the time, so the last word, okay? Um, ash nik ma di. Ash nik ma di. Ash nik ma di. Stress in the ma. Ash nik ma di. Ash nik ma di. I don't know. Ashnik Mate. Ashnik Mate. Okay, so the best. Way. Where can we find the parts of speech for the words? For example, noun, verb. Um, Uh, so that will be later on because this is this is uh, these are just basic words right now. Um, it would have to be a, like a more more grammatical thing. Um, but for right now, just just learn these words. Okay, now um, and right here we have the flashcards. So you can go ahead and memorize these words. So I suggest that you memorize these words um, because you will hear you will hear me say them, um, and I encourage you to say them as well. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, Kenna, Kenna. Kenna, I will go ahead and send you the book as well. Yeah. Okay, Babette. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and uh, send you all the book. Um, you can also find a hard copy. Uh, it's available on Amazon. I know there's, I'm not really, sh I don't really support Amazon. Um, but it's also available at barcenova.com. So I will go ahead and send you the link to that book um, and uh, if you want a hard copy of it so that will be on your own study so if you have any questions about that um, you can also ask me during class I will send you the link to the Amazon uh, to purchase it and also to barnesandnoble.com and then um, I also have a PDF form too um, so I'll go ahead and send you that because uh, I know a lot of people do want you know, like a hard copy, but I'll go ahead and send you the, the PDF link to that, okay? So just to let you know for that book, it's only for students, so please just don't share with anyone else. It's only for, for our students, okay? Now. Okay, um, and let's see, any other questions? Do you have any other questions? I know we went a little bit over time. Oh, I, I don't know. Ashnik Mati, I don't know. No sé. Uh -huh. All right.
Any other questions? Shkana? Okay. Timoitase? Timoitase? Well, if she's talking, que estén bien. Igual. Yali. Timoitase. 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 Ah, cuatito. Timoitase. Timoitase, Tilpanok. Timoitase, Mosla. Ah, qué na, Mosla. Tilpanok. Tilpanok. 